What's up, Bean Crew? A couple of days ago, I made a video of what I eat in a day, and you guys had a lot of stuff to say. A lot of advice, some of it really, really great. And I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna tell you exactly what advice I'm taking, because I have made a change, and today and yesterday, I enacted those changes, and I feel like it was a, a solid, great move, you know? Uh, you know, what's going on right now is uh, I'm switching to a more high-protein, low-carb thing. I, I was already kind of switching up to that, but but you know, I'm I'm ramping it up to like a like a number eight number number eight on the scale. You know, uh, you guys were talking about how much bread I had in a day, and I'm just I'm just kind of cluing it. I'm letting that sink into my head. Like, yeah, I was like I was eating less carbs than I was before, but that was like I'm comparing myself to like when I was an absolute animal. You know, I was absolutely destroying like two whole bags of chips, an entire thing of Oreos, and like absolutely, you know, I was I was crazy. I was a monster. But now I'm. Um, now I'm realizing that I have to continually shrink down, you know, what I'm eating, you know, continually make progress and make changes as I'm going through the diet. And uh, one thing is the bread. And I thought, you know, the bread was a good thing, you know. Uh, it has, you know, these the specific amount of calories in it, so it's easy to measure, you know, exactly how much you're getting. And uh, I don't know, I don't know. You guys, you guys were saying that. So uh, I, I made a choice to have uh, something else uh, for breakfast yesterday. And and also today, yesterday, I had uh, chimichanga, just a single chimichanga for uh, breakfast. It was really good. It had uh, beans, eggs, and some kind of beef in it. Uh, it was it was really good. Uh, probably a lot more calories than my egg sandwich, but uh, also more meat, so more filling. It was uh, had a tortilla, so I don't know. That's probably the same amount as you know two slices of bread, but still less carbs overall than um, that. And uh, then it was so filling that uh, I went to town, I did all my stuff, and uh, for lunch, I really only had boba tea. I went there with Jeffrey, and uh, then for supper, I had just another chimichanga because there was one left in the fridge, just left over. And uh, I woke up this morning, down a pound and a half, so yeah, that's probably just from not eating as much, but still, you know, a uh, high protein, just getting that more protein in, getting less carbs. And this morning, I made a similar a similar choice uh, for breakfast. It was the high protein, less less lower lower carbs overall in general was the the smart move, smart big thing. Uh, I, I I did two slices of bread and uh, I got uh, two eggs. You know, I put the you know normally I divide up the uh, two eggs over two separate sandwiches but I put the two eggs on one sandwich and then I just had the one but also I added bacon and bacon you know it's not the thing you clue in as thinking is healthy but if we're going for a high protein thing and bacon is the only meat we have in the fridge right bacon and eggs that's like a solid good breakfast for like getting that protein in so I had that and that was filling enough uh, despite the fact that I didn't have bread, you know, I thought I thought the big thing about the bread was there was a lot of stuff with just a specific amount of calories in, so I could have like a big amount in my stomach and it would fill me up. But I found the protein did fill me up. Having that extra protein was better. So yeah, I had um, I had that, and then uh, I've gone pretty far into the day. It's 1 p.m. now, and uh, I haven't really had a second meal because I don't know. I don't really feel that hungry so I'm I, mean, I had the protein so uh, all I've had today is that uh, egg and bacon sandwich and then uh, then I had uh, some greens from HDLT subs uh, that's that's really good it's got a nice fruity taste and it's got all the vitamins and minerals you need for a good day so yeah I, had that. I don't know how many calories are in that but um, it feels fine I know their collagen has a hundred calories so I'm, I'm feeling like it's probably in that range I don't know I'm gonna guess it's 60 calories but uh, yeah it's good stuff good stuff if you want to buy yourself some uh, htltsups.com use code Brentley for 10% off uh, that's it's great stuff great stuff the collagen really great I, I strongly recommend the chocolate milkshake collagen oh my god great taste Great thing to have in the middle of the day. And so we got a little bit of protein, got a little bit of something, you know, it tastes good. Just a fun little thing to add to your day, you know. Uh, for a while, I was doing the um, the egg sandwiches in the morning. Then at 12, I would have the collagen, put my supper off until 2. Uh, but you saw that in the, in the What I Eat in a Day video. Uh, and it's just, it is a really great thing. I don't know if I'm going to keep it around. Probably will. Pro I, I want to. I want to. I really do enjoy it. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. That's uh, that's what I, I've been doing so far. Uh, I am trying to eat less bread. The bread is a big thing. 
um, considering the butter. A lot of people were talking about margarine and how bad it is for you. It's like cancer causing and like, uh, it's got more plastics in it, but it is lower in calorie and cheaper. So I don't know, it's a complicated decision on that, you know, like it is good for weight loss, but it's also less healthy for like me in a more sickness sort of sense. But like, so is being fat, you know, if I continue to be fat and I can, and like, I take a more, you know, obesity type option, which is less cancer causing. So it's like my choices are cancer or obesity. I wanted to address the Sunny D rumors. Uh, people were talking about the Sunny D that was in the fridge. You guys saw it during the video. Uh, that's not mine. That's my grandmother's. I don't really drink full sugar drinks. Uh, I, I do, uh, I do I do like diet drinks, you know, uh, sugar free. You saw the Seven Up in that. The Seven Up was Seven Up Zero Sugar, and so is that Pepsi in there. The Pepsi was Pepsi Max, uh, absolutely zero sugar, so zero calories. Because really, the calories in soda like that comes from the sugar that's in it, the massive amount of sugar. So yeah, I get the zero sugar sodas, and that's good. And I don't really drink juice anymore, which is a shame because I used to love juice. I used to drink like so much juice, but uh, man. When I found out how many calories were in it, I had to make that choice. That was a big thing, you know, getting rid of juice, getting rid of full sugar soda. Like, literally, when I got rid of full sugar soda and juice, I lost, like, 16 pounds, like, lickety split. Like, that was the biggest, quickest decision I could have made. It was super easy, but uh, also very sad, because I was like, yeah. And yeah, those are the only three advices I can remember. Uh, but, yeah. I'm making the decision, and I'm still I'm still walking every day. I walked quite a bit yesterday. I walked quite a bit the day before. You know, I've been I've been getting a solid 11,000, 14,000 steps in just about every day, and uh, I've been having a lot of fun with that. Uh, but yeah, you know that's that's nothing new. You already knew about that. I'm just just trying to think like what I'm changing. What I'm I'm having this sort of epiphany. This sort of opening up of myself when I'm realizing that I have to start taking advice from other people, you know? Like, uh, I'm always sort of an on my own sort of guy. I'm always trying to figure stuff. I was talking to Greg Doucette last night over Instagram DMs and uh, we both agreed that I, um, I'm, I'm, I'm a little scatterbrained. I'm a little, uh, I'm a little like, I'm a scared animal right now, you know? I, I, don't, I don't really know what I'm doing, so I gotta like calm down and like think logically you know i uh, i'm getting confused i'm getting like i'm trying to fuel myself completely with willpower um and that's that's not a way to do it because eventually willpower runs out you know and uh you know you gotta you gotta keep yourself comfortable enough that you can make the progress uh over consistently over the rest of your life you know and uh you know i'm just I'm just really not doing that. I'm trying to white knuckle it. I'm trying to, you know, overpower myself, overpower my own desires, and that's just you know, not something, you know, not something you can do. I'm, I gotta make the, you know, responsible and cohesive and calmed down decision. You know, yeah, meditate on it, think it, think it through. Really, just like logically, you know, cast a line into the ocean, you know, and <laughs> uh, yeah, really formulate a, a plan that keeps me comfortable enough that I can in fact continue to make progress because I'm, I'm really not right now you know I can I can last five days and then I go back and I binge and I fall and I fail and then you know that's that's no way to do it that's not it's not how you succeed in weight loss so I gotta really really put some more thought into it really think things through you know and that's what I'm doing you know I'm really calming down I'm clearing my mind I'm really really just letting my brain blast my light the lightning in my head you know it's gotta think you know think it think it for real but that's the thing that's the thing you know it's that uh it's that health and then binge cycle you know it's it's a bit of an eating disorder i don't know i'm not officially diagnosed with an eating disorder but i i'm like i don't know i'll like i'll like eat really responsible for three five days i don't know and then uh i'm like i can't do this anymore and then i absolutely just go hog wild and then you know i'll, I'll take off seven pounds over those five days and then put that seven pounds back on lickety split and, you know it's it's rough but you know that's that's what i did and uh yeah if i if i, if I think it through if i really put the effort in i i put uh, 
I mean, not the effort. I mean, I need to stop the effort. I need to put the thought into me. You know, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a white knuckle kind of guy. I'm the kind of guy that, you know, solves everything with, you know, white knuckling and overpowering and willpower. But really, that's not something you can do with weight loss. You can't solve a weight loss problem that way, you know. You need to actually think about the science and whatnot. And I am by no means a scientist. I'm a moron, but, uh, yeah. That's why, that's why I'm fat, because I'm not smart enough to do it, but I mean, I, I'm probably smart enough to figure it out if I really, if I really try, if I really, really go for it, you know, I'm, you know, I'm working hard. I lost 135 pounds already, so, yeah, I don't know, should be fine, should be, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep coming. I'm in a bit of a fork in the road right now, I'm, I'm, I'm really working hard, I'm trying my best, but I, I am succeeding. I was down a pound and a half this morning, as I said, but, uh, uh, yeah. I think the future is looking good. I think things are going to do well. I'm going to be losing weight in the next, over the next, you know, two, three weeks. I think i got a solid three weeks coming.